All right, got something very cool and different to uh, show you tonight. This is a Fisher and Paykel Smart Drive washing machine motor. Now it's a 42 pole DC brushless three phase motor with a permanent magnet outer. So the outer piece in this case spins and the inner stator stays still. This one is one that my father has been modified a little bit. He's actually added windings to a couple of the coils and started to anyway. He will, he will eventually go through this and rewind it to make all the coils a bit bigger because he was winding this up for a power generator. He's, uh, he's gone more for the use the motor as a generator kind of thing. He's actually gone along and knocked all the squarish edges off these uh, at the end of each of these fields. Or decogged it as such. Now, you've got a common ground point where all the coils end up. You've got red, blue, yellow, which is uh, fairly standard in for the three phases of a brushless motor. So this one, this one's a bit of a different model. They come out in a few different sizes, shapes, models. But um, basically they were a fairly high voltage DC brushless obviously motor for a washing machine. And they, through the use of having 42 poles, they had a lot of power at, lo at low speeds as well as still being able to spin relatively quick. Uh, without the need for a gearbox. There's no need at all for a gearbox in one of these. The uh, agitation and everything forward and back is done by just the power of these magnets. As you can see there's a nice magnet stuck right the way around this outer drum that spins. These ones probably aren't the best examples because they've got cracks in there here housings of them, like so, which isn't, isn't ideal, but uh, a bit of epoxy or something similar to that would be able to fix that up. Now I'm not going to pull this one apart because uh, Dad's going to spend a bit more time on it and finish building it up, uh, eventually either use it as a wind turbine or a water wheel, they're great in either situation because it's 42 poles. They start fairly easily and they're happy with low speed but lots of power. So in the instance of a water wheel you can uh, roll them around nice and slow and they'll handle that all day. Now the reason I've got these is, this one was just for play around testing purposes, but the uh, complete one here and I've got another one in my shed, is uh, probably going to get used with the uh, aid of a brushless motor speed controller as a, uh, as a bit of a test and a play around f for my electric quad. Now, this is very similar to what's in one of those hub motors that you see often in uh, converted bicycles, electric bicycles. This is essentially what's inside one of those hub motors. And um, basically, I don't want to spend 260 bucks on a hub motor when if I get on Allied Express I can probably get a motor speed control to suit this kind of thing um, for you know 30 40 bucks and uh, then I can go ahead and test and play around with it now my only fear is that it's not going to handle high currents as you see the windings are fairly small so they're not going to handle massive power but the other thing you gotta remember is each of those three fields there's 14 uh, 14 coils so the yellow goes to 14 separate different coils laced all the way around there so there's 14 of these coils at a time helping you out 14 pulling and uh, being a brushless they also have a uh, the controller will make it push as well as pull, so they uh, they turn around quite quite well. Just with a uh, 
negative terminal here and running the positive across these three in a kind of rhythmic -y pattern. You can make it dance around. I won't do that now because it's extremely loud and it's a bit late because uh, it jumps around a lot without a bearing holding it you know, in a central position because that's just a multi-lamination steel uh, just like a transformer core wrapped up with windings and this one's actually not bad he, dad's kept a good one in this one it's got no cracks in it now, if I do make one of these into a hub motor, one thing I will be doing is, uh, sit down, it's a bit hard to see, sit down in here. All you can see is the red flashing light off the GoPro. But down in there, I'll probably riddle that with holes to let through airflow. And the same thing with the actual plastic case here, I'll probably strategically drill some holes in that to allow a bit of air in and out. And, um, that might just make it last a little bit longer. Last thing I want is to uh, get it too hot and maybe a magnet move or one of these coils will burn up and then it'll be out of balance again and I'm not rewinding all those. Dad's completely hand, hand rewound one or two of them and uh, it took him like days. 42 poles and I think it was about 90 windings. 90, 90 wraps around and then uh, the one he did had like 120 I believe it's 20 turns added to these ones so there's about 110 there but yeah there now the, the big thing with these is, is the outer drum spins so what I could probably do is uh, get some uh, HDPE plastic weld uh, like filler rods and run them around the outside of here, melting them on periodically on both sides. If I did that to make something like a lip each side, I could probably make it so it handles a belt. And I could put a belt around the outside of that. And then all I need is a pulley on the other end for the quad and uh, away you go. The other thing that's cool is they've got a very good spline hub on the motor, which is really deep and a nut that does up on the end of the standard spline shaft which I'll just go and grab now this is the standard center piece that uh, is in the washing machine and uh, this side's where you motor bolts up and that thread there is for this nut on top of the um, magnetic piece and this piece here is uh, where your ag agitator goes on uh, you got a water seal and two good bearings so all I've got to do is uh, borrow someone's lathe put this shaft in the lathe and uh, turn it, I'll probably, probably hold it from this mount this bracket down and then put that in the chuck and then just turn down this until I get down to the tube inside once I get down to the tube inside all I do is find a bit of uh, heavy wall uh, black steel pipe or even galvanised, doesn't matter that uh, this will fit neatly into as soon as it fits neatly into something of that nature all I'd have to do is drive a few, maybe one each side, self tap screws through the outside of it, and you've got a pre made bearing block and a shaft that'll hold two of these motors. So, as long as I've got the phases wired the same, and a motor speed controller that's big enough to run two of these, I think they should sync up and they'll just work together. So, wire two of these into a parallel and just run two. The shaft's got a nice spine each end, I'll probably even mount a pulley on it, on the shaft and that'd alleviate the need to stuff around with the outside of the case. Mount that in a bearing block, pulley on there, 
That's a double brushless 42 pole motor, which would probably be fairly smooth and uh, quite nice to quite nice to uh, operate and have a lot of startup torque from uh, zero. So being 14 at a time, it's um. Hang on. I don't think that's right. So it's in three phase. Yeah. Anyway, the uh, if it's fourteen, it's the twenty-eight coils at a time, starting you up. So twenty-eight coils working together, and then as soon as it moves a little bit, another one pushing away. So lots of start-up torque. It'd just be like having two hub motors. I'm not sure what they compare to, but I reckon I'll get a thousand watt speed control so it's safe and uh, go from there. So I'll get on uh, Allied Express and see if I can find one. And then the waiting game to get it here from China. Oh, well, this video is probably starting to get on the long side, so uh, I'll leave you with it. But this is definitely another motor option. Fully electric quad and uh, been brushless it's gonna once it's actually set up the only maintenance is gonna be bearings and batteries and uh, can be used in multiple different things maybe even on a push bike so uh, let's see if I can get a motor speed controller and if it's uh, more of a reasonable hour tomorrow I might just do a quick video of power to the common and just making it dance around the, the stator as I uh, move the power source to it around. Now it was only pulling about an amp at 30 volts which isn't much so it might